What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cats, we decide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, if you like to, um, well, if you want to donate, it's um, links in the description box below, but that's not what I was going to say. I did say it, but that's not what I meant to say. What I meant to say was thanks so much for all the subscribers and all the love and support to the channel. Channel's really growing. We're at 15,030 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I really, really, really appreciate all the love and support. Um, it helps um, support my business, and all the shares of my content has really been helping recently. Uh, get it around social media and uh, around to people that don't don't know about my channel or my business. I really, really, really appreciate it so much for all the love and support. Okay, so I received another channeling. We're still going. 11.56 p.m., 10.29, 20, 2022. So almost 10.30. We're almost to Halloween, you guys. Just saying, just saying. Hope everybody's having a nice Saturday night. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, a masculine veteran's body. Um, I heard he's been deceased over 20 years. Uh, that was specific. He's been deceased over 20 years. I heard through many series of chain of events, his body is about to be ex exhumed um, uh, for suspected poisoning. Um I heard um, a false insurance uh, claim, uh, life insurance policy claim, has a lot to do with this on another family member. So you plug it in how it resonates, uh, however that resonates and applies. Um, a masculine veteran, he's been deceased over 20 years, I heard. So 20 or 20 or 20 plus years. He's a masculine veteran deceased spirit. So he is a spirit in the spiritual realm, in the spirit world. He is a spirit right now. And he's been deceased 20 or 20 plus years. Um, I heard his body through many series of chain of events is about to be exhumed. So uh, when I got this channeling, I know what exhumed means, but I wanted to read the Google definition. That way everybody's on the same page. Exhum, dig out. Something buried, especially a corpse from the ground. Example sentence, the bodies were exhumed on the orders of a judge. So that was the example sentence in it. But exhumed is dig out something buried, especially a corpse from the ground. So he's a masculine veteran and he's been deceased for 20 or 20 plus years. But um, I heard his body's about to be exhumed for suspected poisoning. Um, I heard a... False insurance, uh, life insurance policy claim on another family member has a lot to do with this. So you plug it in however that resonates and applies. So it sounds like somebody's about to exhume his body for suspected poisoning um, to see if he was poisoned. Like I'm presuming autopsy energy here to see if he was poisoned. But... I heard a false insurance policy, life insurance policy, that sounds like that was attempted to be taken out on another family member, not him, but on another family member, um, has a lot to do with this, to see if he was poisoned. So you plug it in how it resonates. Spare message this year, I would like this. The results are going to be shocking of this autopsy. The results are going to be shocking of this um, autopsy is what I heard. The results are going to be shocking of this autopsy. So the results are going to be shocking of this autopsy. But it sounds like the ex, I don't know, exhume, maybe it's exhumation, past participle possibly, exhumation possibly, the exhumation or exhumed the exhumate however you say it whoever is about to precipitate this exhuming or exhuming maybe it's exhuming or exhumation i'm not sure um let me see 
exhumed. Past participle exhumed. Okay. So whoever is about to precipitate this exhuming of the body of this masculine lawyer, um, not lawyer, sorry, masculine veteran, masculine veteran, um, he's been passed away 20 or 20 plus years. Um, what's precipitating it is, like I said, um, apparently there's a, was a false, attempted false life insurance policy trying to be taken out on another family member. So not him on another family member, but that's what it sounds like is spurring the series of chain of events to exhume his body to see if there was suspected, um, there's suspected poisoning there. Um, I heard um, the results are going to be shocking. So we have expectation upright. Number 28 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 28, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 28, um, I think somebody's about to expect Somebody suspects poisoning. So to me, this is the suspect of the poisoning. I heard the results are going to be shocking. So whatever they're about to find in this autopsy and examination after the ex exhumed body is dug out of wherever it's at, I'm presuming a grave site or wherever it is, um, is going to be shocking. But I think, obviously, in this aspect, I feel expectation is uh, suspected poisoning here. Somebody suspects this masculine energy veteran that passed away 20 or 20 plus years was poisoned. I heard the results are going to be shocking. So, to me, that could be positive or negative. You plug it in how it resonates. I feel guided to pull another one. When someone learns about this ex the exhumed body about to be exhumed, they're about to come forward with a shocking confession. Oh my God. Hold on a second. When somebody learns of this body about to be exhumed, I heard they're about to come forward with a shocking confession. So how that resonates and applies. So somebody's about to learn of this body about to be exhumed and um they're about to come forward with a shocking confession it doesn't sound like they've learned about the body about to be exhumed yet um but they're about to be uh about to learn about it when they learn about it they're about to come forward with a shocking confession maybe for some of you guys you might be the one about to come forward with a shocking profession um if you resonate with this situation only you know your situation is story to anybody else it is a masculine veteran Deceased masculine veteran that's been passed away 20 or 20 plus years. His body's about to be exhumed. Somebody's about, when they learn the body's about to be exhumed, they're about to come forward with a shocking confession. So um, that could be you or somebody you're connected to, but somebody's going to come forward with a shocking confession when they learn the body's about to be exhumed. How that resonates and applies. I don't think um, whoever's about to come forward with a shocking confession, I don't think they expected the body to be exhumed, but it's about to be. But somebody's suspecting poisoning there. But it stemmed from this somebody creating a series of chain events, filing a false life insurance policy on somebody that obviously I'm assuming is still alive. They're very much still alive. They're very much still alive. That's confirmation. They're very, yeah. What the crap, man? I'm just saying. Obvious, duh. There's no death certificate there. Um. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. So I'm serious. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Well, how the hell they expect to file a false life insurance policy on somebody that's still living? There's no freaking death certificate. Unless they forged one. I don't even know how the hell to do that. I don't specialize in criminal. But I'm just saying. But I heard the person's very much still alive. So whether they forge, I don't know if you can even forge a death certificate. Hell, I don't know. I don't specialize in criminal. But I did hear... The person they tried to file the false life insurance policy on is still very much living. So, obviously, that's a lot of fraudulent activity. And it's a family member of one of the deceased, of the deceased veteran. There's foul play going on here, basically. A lot of foul play, some kind of toxic family energy. Huge foul play here. Huge foul play here. This confirmation, huge foul play. Yikes. Why do people get themselves in this kind of situation. This is crazy. 
Number three could be a very significant number in one's life. Number three could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any, any other significant number. Number three, marriage reverse. The person that's still very much alive is very legally single. There was so many lies here, so many lies. It's about to backfire on this toxic family in a huge way. Okay, I heard the person that's very much still alive. So the person that this toxic family tried to file the li uh, false li life insurance policy um, out on, uh, basically they claimed they were deceased and they're still living. There's no death certificate there, I'm presuming. Um, for money, for insurance policy money is what it sounds like, but they're still living. Um, I heard they're very much legally single. There was so many lies there, and all these lies are basically about to boomerang energetically back upon this toxic family. Uh, I heard the auto um I didn't hear autopsy, but I did hear the body's gonna be exhumed, so I'm assuming there's going to be an autopsy or some kind of um, evaluation or inspection, I'm assuming an autopsy, uh, with the body to, for the suspected poisoning, I heard the results there are going to be shocking, so, I mean, and obviously this family doesn't operate in on honesty, ethics, integrity, and values if they're trying to file a false life insurance policy on a living person. Um, I heard they're legally single, so I think that the toxic family was trying to say the person was married, and they're not. Uh, I heard they're legally single. There's with so many lies that this toxic family has told, basically. It's about to energetically boomerang back upon them. I think they were trying to say this person was le was legally married, but they're not. They're legally single. Marriage reverse. This is crazy, man. This family is about to be in for many negative shocks. Many negative shocks. Negative tower moments coming. This family is, this. so this toxic family is about to be in for many negative shocks. Uh, many negative tower moments coming. Yeah, this is, oh Lord, this is something, man. So this fat toxic family, it sounds like they've got diabetes, man. And I'm serious. Sounds like they've got freaking diabetes. They don't know how to tell the damn truth. And apparently, it's for greed and money, obviously. They're trying to file a false life insurance policy out on somebody that's still freaking living. They're, le they're legally single, but they lied. So they said they were married. But they're not. They're legally single. Um, and they're trying to file a false life insurance policy out on the person. So much so... A veteran, masculine veteran, deceased for 20 or 20 plus years, body's about to be exhumed for suspected poisoning. I mean, damn. But this family needs to learn to tell the damn truth. And that's just the truth. This is terrible. I heard all these lies are about to backfire on them in a huge way. I heard negative, many negative tower moments are coming. Tower, baby. But that maybe it'll teach them a lesson in telling the damn truth. And operating in some honesty, ethics, integrities, and values. You know what I'm saying? One of these family members is about to get a shocking phone call soon they do not want. And it's not going to go well for them. One of these family members is about to get a shocking phone call soon that they don't want. It's about not to go well for them. So toxic family, dynamic energy, um, rest in peace, veteran, deceased, 20 or 20 plus years. Um, this person, it sounds like they're estranged from this um, dynamic. At least I would hope they are. They are very much estranged from the toxic family. And it's about to benefit them in a huge way. Okay. So this person, who if you fit in this category, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Obviously, you're not the deceased spirit of the veteran. 
mask on veteran. For some of you guys, I feel you could be this person. Or you could be the people about to exhume, help exhume the body. Um, however, that I mean, this is hot mess. This is a hot mess express. But the toxic family was going around saying, sorry, ma'am, if this resonates for you, obviously that you were married, but you're not. You're legally single, but it was all for money. And they were claiming you were dead, but you're not. You're still living. Like, what? But I heard who, if you resonate over here, it's about to benefit you in huge ways that you're basically estranged from this family. Um, I, hell, I'd be estranged from this family too, uh, because this is a hot ass mess express, and that's just the truth. But, um, I heard all these lies are about to backfire on them. They're about to backfire on them. So you plug it in how it resonates, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. One of the, I heard one of the, one of the toxic family members is about to get a very shocking phone call soon. Very negative. This is going to be news they're not going to want to hear. So you plug it in how it resonates. It might be, I'm feeling it might be the phone call that the body's about to be exhumed. And that might be where the confession, confession energy comes in, possibly. For some of them. Only they know their situation and story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. <clears throat> one, of the one of the family members that lives very far away from this toxic family, they're about to make a very significant phone call to someone, someone very important in a city soon. They're about to tell the truth, all the truth, on these family members. They're realizing what a shitstorm they cause now. Oh, okay. So, okay. So we got toxic family dynamic in a city or connected to a city. How that resonates and applies. We've got you, a strange family member over here. We've got the veteran, masculine veteran, deceased 20 or 20 plus years, body about to be exhumed. We've got the people about to exhume it for suspected poisoning. And then we have a family member that lives heard a very far distance from this city and this toxic family dynamic, and I'm assuming you, a strange family member, heard they're about to call into somebody in the city soon. A very important person. A very important person. They're about to call into the city to a very important person. I heard it tell the truth. All the truth. Um, because they realize what a shitstorm this has created. It's not... It's going to piss off these toxic family members, but this family member knows it and they don't care. Okay. So if you resonate over here, it's going to piss off these toxic family members, but you're about to call in and tell the truth. The whole truth and none of the truth so help you God, I hope. But um, you live a distance. You live a distance from all this hot mess express if this resonates for you, okay? Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. But I heard you're about to call in. You live far distance from all this hot mess that's express. You're about to call into somebody important inside this city and tell the truth. Obviously, they've been lying. I hell, they've been they said this estranged family member was married and they're not. I'll tell you that. That's one lie. Another one is they the, it sounds like this veteran might have been poisoned. So much so somebody wants to exhume the body. We've got a life, false life insurance policy that's been fought, fought, uh, try attempted to be filed. That's backfiring. I mean, this is this is crazy. So whoever you are, you live at a far distance from this hot mess, hot mess that's expressed in this toxic family, but you are bloodline to these people. This resonates. You live outside the city, a far distance. I heard you're about to call into somebody important in the city and tell the truth. So whatever the truth is and how that resonates, I heard it's going to piss these people off. So you plug it in how it resonates if you resonate over here, sir, ma'am, okay? It is about to benefit you in a huge way and the estranged family member. Okay, I heard it. it's, uh, okay, so you calling in and telling the truth is about to benefit you and the estranged family member, whoever you are, if you resonate over here. You calling in and talking to somebody very important inside the city um, is about to benefit you, family member outside this hot ass mess express. You are bloodline related to these people, but you live a far distance. It's about to benefit you and the estranged family member. So you plug it in how it resonates, man. I'm going to bed. I'm just saying. I might do finish the rest of the sign readings. I've just been getting so many downloads in. I haven't had time, basically. I've been getting so many downloads, okay? I love you guys. Hope this helped, and I'm going to stay.